Hi, rock stars. Um, I want to show you this real cool trick um, I've been struggling with for a while in Final Cut Pro, uh, but you can also use this, use this in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro as well. Um, so what I did was uh, I did some audio here. Let's just listen to it for one second. I'm trying to get off coffee because coffee gets me stressed. Just a little video I did about oregano in my tea. <laughs> okay, um, so what I normally do is you don't want your audio to peak. So over here on the right hand side, uh, you don't want this to turn red, otherwise you uh, blow up people's speakers when they listen to it. So you want to stay below the zero. Uh, so a lot of times what I do is I throw a limiter on it. So you can collect or click this video, go over to limiter, um, it's in your audio effects, and you click and you grab it and you drop it onto it. Now I've already done that, so I won't do that again. And then you can go over to your audio over here, top right hand corner, and click limiter, this little thing here. And it brings up, um, I want it to clip the audio at minus one. So it won't, it, that won't allow it to hit zero. Um, and you can also boost up your gain so it gets louder, but it won't let it go over that zero. It'll clip it. It'll be like a brick wall at minus one. Um, which is all fine and good. It works. Um, but then when I added the audio to it, I uh, I noticed that it was clipping. I shall show you. So let's go here and let's listen. And then let's also watch this these audio meters on the right. Now I'm editing. So uh, anyways, um, I am drinking a nice tea. Now see, I think I lowered the music, but if the music's really loud, so let's go over here and crank it up. So let's see what that does for us. Hi, rock stars. Okay, so if you notice that on the right hand side, look at that again on your meters on the right hand side right here, and you'll see that it's peaking, uh, which is not good for your video. You don't want that. Hi, rock stars. It is T Bone Pearson. So the limiter is limiting my voice on the top video, um, but by adding the music, I'm, the overall sound is going over zero and it's clipping the audio and not very professional at all. Um, so to uh, combat that, it's actually quite easy. Um, so what you want to do is you want to shift click both clips. So uh, I've got the most selected. So I clicked off of them, I left click, shift, and shift that too. So now I have both selected. Let's go up to the top and go to File, New, Compound Clip. We'll click that and you can name it. So let's say uh, Master Video uh, with Audio, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Hit OK. Um, now throw the limiter on top of the compound clip and it will apply to everything within the clip. So now let's go over here to our audio. Uh, you can go video, audio, um, and let's find this little limiter thing here. Click this. Now let's clip it at minus one. And uh, let's even boost up the gain, gain and see what happens. I always pull that up too. Now let's listen. I just find it more soothing. And I've been using coconut milk. So let's X out of that. Go to the first and see if it clips again. Hi, rock stars. It is T Bone Pearson here. We have solved the problem. So now you have a hard limiter across your whole video, uh, which is pretty awesome. Now let's say you wanted to change something within your compound clip. I just believe you double click this and it will let you inside the compound clip. Uh, so there you go. I, I just learned this, so I wanted to pass it on before I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully that's helpful to someone out there who's having a problem with audio. Really simple fix. Um, anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.